Gaming has always been at its best when it is a social experience. From competing for first place against a group of friends in Crash Team Racing to obliterating one another in Time Splitters 2, the PlayStation has long been the home of pulse-pounding local multiplayer madness. Although the concept of split-screen multiplayer has sadly waned over the last few console generations with developers favouring online multiplayer experiences compared to traditional couch-based affairs, that doesn't mean that the PlayStation 4 is lacking when it comes to superb local multiplayer titles. Of course, the most important thing about playing games locally is making sure you've got the right people to play them with. With this in mind, in order to make this video as authentic as I can possibly make it, I'll be recruiting some of my closest friends and loved ones in order to help me out. Hold on, I have my list of uh, friends and loved ones here. Let me just, uh, I've got my glasses. I don't know what that's doing there. There we are. Right, this is a blank sheet of paper. Yep, should have seen that coming. I'm very lonely. That is the joke for the start of the video. I hope you enjoyed that. Could not think of anything funny. <laughs> anyway, hello, I'm Liam from Pushtwa, and this is our list of the 10 best local multiplayer games on the PlayStation 4. Before we start, if you did move your mouse just below the video and just give a little jab, to that thumbs up icon, that would really help us out. Thank you, I'd appreciate that. Now that I've taken care of that, let's dive in. Originally released on the PlayStation 3 seven years ago, Ubisoft's Rayman Legends is still one of the best couch co-op titles around. Stunningly presented with its show-stopping hand-painted visuals and delightfully bouncy soundtrack, Rayman Legends feels like it was moulded from liquid serotonin. As you run, jump and punch your way through the game's multiple worlds, you'll be hard-pressed not to crack a smile. Played Alone Legends is a tight and highly polished 2D platformer that rivals any adventure Nintendo Nintendo's own mustachioed mascot has ever embarked on. But when played with friends, it quickly devolves into couch co-op chaos. Beating up your friends as you desperately attempt to grab a cluster of lums before them, or refusing to rescue them from their bubble prison after they fall, is enormous fun. With heaps of content to work your way through, including an excellent football mini game that is far more addictive than it has any right to be, Rayman Legends is a dense and beautiful couch co-op title that's guaranteed to provide you and your friends with hours of madcap multiplayer hilarity. Every Jackbot party path is a riot when played with friends, but for our money, the game's sixth collection is the best of the bunch. Playable using just your smartphone, tablet, or laptop means that any Jackbot party game isn't limited by how many expensive controllers you've collected over the years. Instead, anyone can join in the fun using the closest online device they have available. Party Path Sits let you and up to eight friends deduce who is an imposter within the sci-fi game Push the Button, come up with hilarious one-liners for a cruise ship talent show in Joth Boat, and attempt to escape a serial killer's basement using your ability to recall general knowledge in Trivia Murder Party 2. Jackbot games are particularly wonderful because they manage to bridge the gap between traditional parlour games and modern entertainment, making them the perfect fit for any group gathering you may be hosting. All games are easy to understand and can be played by simply navigating to a web browser on your phone. They're a great fit for any party. Not at the moment, but um, you, know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. The wonderfully inventive Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes is number eight on our list. If you're a fan of tense, cooperative experiences that require deductive reasoning and split second decision making, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes is the local multiplayer game for you. One participant plays as the bomb diffuser, using a dual shot four to examine a bomb on the television while everyone else involved must rifle through a physical document in order to uncover the correct diffusal method. Communication is effective the primary gameplay mechanic, with both teams asking and answering questions in a desperate attempt to defuse the device before the timer hits zero. It's stupidly good fun, and a great choice to play with those that aren't usually into games. Best of all, the game is one of the few social VR titles, with the bomb diffuser able to don the headset in order to examine the bomb within an immersive space while everyone else consults the document on the television. It's superb fun. If you and your pals are looking for something more substantial compared to the light-hearted, party-focused titles on this list, then Divinity Original Sin 2 may just be the game 
for you. A dense and multi-layered RPG that rivals the likes of The Witcher 3 in terms of scope, Divinity 2 is completely playable together from the same sofa. Bringing a friend along for the ride enhances the game significantly, thanks to neat design features like the screen splitting seamlessly when you separate, or allowing characters to debate during conversations. Playing solo is enjoyable enough, but sharing the vast expanse of Rivalon with a friend creates a genuine sense of adventure that's hard to beat. With so much to see and do, Divinity Original Sin 2 is a wonderful game made all the better by the inclusion of a superbly implemented local co-op mode. Wonderful stuff. Now Divinity is great and all, but I would like a really deep RPG that lets me shoot my enemies instead. A Divinity with guns, almost. One where the nuanced geopolitical fantasy narrative is replaced by, I don't know, jokes about genitals? Oh, and memes from 2010. Did such a game even exist? Oh, what a beautiful thing that would be. <gasps> Borderlands The Handsome Collection is number six on our list. Combining both the excellent Borderlands 2, the slightly less enjoyable Borderlands the pre-sequel, and all of their DLC into one dense package, Borderlands The Handsome Collection offers hundreds of hours of FPS RPG action for one low price. Both games are also playable in split screen, allowing you and up to three other friends to shoot and loot your way across the border planet of Pandora and its moon together. With billions of guns to uncover, countless alien beasties to slaughter, and a ton of missions to work your way through, it'll be a long time before you and your team get bored. Even in 2020, Borderlands 2 especially still holds up, offering a riotously fun shooter that's vastly improved with some friends by your side. At number 5 we have Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. A remake of the Naughty Dog developed PlayStation 1 classic, CTR is still an essential multiplayer racer 21 years after its original release. A direct competitor to Nintendo's Mario Kart 64 back in the day, Crash Team Racing was more than just a simple clone, introducing new features that improved the genre significantly. The game is still incredible fun to play today, offering a tightly controlled part racing game that is one of the most exhilarating on the platform. As a multiplayer game, CTR shines bright. Not only is every trap from the original game presented here in glorious high definition, but every level from the game's sequel, Crash Nitro Kart, is also included. On top of this, 12 months of content updates have expanded the game's track list even further, offering themed courses and additional characters from across the Orange Marsupials catalogue of releases. You can even play as Spyro the Dragon or Hunter if you enjoy making poor life decisions. Yeah, that's right, Hunter. I'm coming for you. If you have. CTR is a brilliant racing game that can be enjoyed by both those who remember the original title fondly and younger players ready to experience this genre for the first time. A wonderful multiplayer title that's best shared with others. Next up, we have Towerfall Ascension. Easy to pick up and play thanks to its deviously simple controls, this competitive multiplayer title by Celeste creator Matt Thorson is one of the PlayStation 4's finest. Armed with just a bow and a few arrows, players compete to one-shot their enemies within a number of cramped two-dimensional combat arenas. Each round may only last a few seconds, but the thrill of the fight is unlike any other game on this list. With every player only a split second away from instant death, combat is frenetic and chaotic thanks to a number of tightly designed systems and mechanics. Have you ran out of arrows? Simply retrieve them from where they landed. Looking for something more powerful? Chests contain wild new types of arrows to experiment with. Aiming to win a round in the most rage-inducing way possible? Exploit a level's pathman est looping edges in order to destroy your pal with a Mario-style head stomp. I'm not kidding there, that is the most infuriating thing to do in this game. Honestly, it's so annoying. There's a surprising amount of nuanced complexity to uncover here, making Towerfall Ascension a local multiplayer game that feels fresh every time you play. It's exhilarating, frustrating, and hilarious. Everything a local multiplayer game should be. I love football, the sport all about balls. Kicking the balls with your feet, offside, red tards, yellow tards, I assume some form of green tard, goalkeepers, penalties, grass, 
St. James's Pa, Boots with the bits on the bottom, David, David Betham, Wayne Rooney, England. Look, I'm a 27 year old man who uh, talks about video games on YouTube. Do I need to pretend to like football or? I do own a copy of FIFA 14 that I paid 50 pence for, which I would argue was way too much. Look, I'm not even gonna try and pretend. I'm just gonna read what Stephen wrote on the website, and I think that I think that's all right. FIFA has always presented an impressive array of options when playing locally, and FIFA 20 is no different. Your pals can jump in at almost any time, taking to the pitch together through co-op play. Joining your friends game is as simple as adding your controller, and you can even play through whole seasons or specific tournaments side by side on the sofa. The best part is that FIFA allows for a huge number of difficulty options and simplified controls themes, meaning that anyone than dead in on the fun. For my money, the best football game ever made is Super Mario Strikers on the Nintendo Wii. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Made sense. I can't argue with that. All right. Love you too. <laughs> I've just been fired. So we've talked a lot about Diablo 3 on this channel. In our list of the best PS4 RPGs, we praise the game for its wonderful combat loop, myriad of character classes, and vast amounts of collectible loot. In our list of the best PS4 co-op games, we ranked Diablo 3 in first place, stating that its endless amount of content makes it a near-perfect cooperative experience that you can't afford to miss. But with the game fully playable via local multiplayer, it's also one of the best couch co-op titles on the system. Supporting four players locally, there's nothing stopping you and three mates from playing through the entire game from the comfort of the same sofa. In fact, Diablo 3 offers a local multiplayer experience experience that is way too rare in the modern era. A massive RPG that can be taunted together as a group on a single console. Think about it, when was the last time you and a group of friends gathered together in a room in order to play something from start to finish? I'm willing to bet that the controller still had wires and at 2am your friend's dad walked in and he looked really annoyed and he told you all to just go to sleep because he had a shift at the refinery that started at 6am. That's too specific, but you know what I mean. Diablo 3 happily accommodates all playstyles, and its local multiplayer mode is its best feature. In at number one, we have the quintessential local multiplayer game, Overtucked. Two. The premise of Overtucked 2 is a simple one. You and a group of friends are chefs. Together, you have to cook dishes for impatient patrons in order to gain enough points to progress to the next level. Each of the dish's disparate components must be prepared individually. Vegetables require chopping, meat must be fried, and soup must be simmered. Communication is therefore essential, as each player must stick to their designated station in order to ensure that the process runs smoothly. The issue is that Overtucked 2 is a cruel and vicious master who relishes in chaos. Nothing ever goes smoothly. As dishes become more complex, so too do the kitchens themselves, with ridiculous events causing players to think on the fly to death the dishes served on time. It's hectic, it's stressful, it's infuriating and deeply irritating. It's the perfect local multiplayer game. With clever accessibility options such as the ability for two people to play the game using only one controller, Overtut 2 can be played by practically anyone with a desire to have fun and perhaps a death wish. You will argue as vital components are missed. You will shout at the top of your lungs as your kitchen spontaneously bursts into flames. You will whoop with joy when you and your team of just awful chefs finally achieve that elusive three-star rating. Overtut 2 is a delight and absolutely deserving of its top spot on this list. So there we have it, our list of the 10 best local multiplayer games on the PlayStation 4. Make sure to check out the full version of this list over on the Push To Our website. Did we miss anything? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to Push Square for everything PlayStation. Thank you very much for watching. It is 10 million degrees in this room, so I'm just gonna have a little lie down, if you don't mind. Just a little one on the floor. Oh God.